We're here at Hukilau Beach in the community of La Ye to celebrate and participate in the fifth annual Ho'oku Ono Ono Ina Keiki, which stands for uh, Helping Children Prosper. This is an event created and envisioned by John Luvai and Bob Kahavai uh, some years ago as a way of reaching out and giving back to the community, some of the most needy in our community which are, in this case, the uh, uh, kids from the leeward side, some of which don't have homes or live, living in the homeless shelters. But it's more than just a good time at the beach. This is an opportunity for those kids to be exposed to a tradition, the huki lao, uh, understand the cultural background to it. But not only that, but also be uh, exposed to some of the first-class employees in our company and others in the community who take the time after the Hoofy Lao to sit down with the kids and share with them what's possible in life, what opportunities they can have just based on our own experience. It's one of the most uh, interesting and fun events and I look forward to it every year. This is our fifth year of uh, doing the Hoofy Lao with homeless teens from uh, the Leeward Coast. And we get a lot of community support from the Laie community, especially the Kaavai family. Uh, right now we got the mentoring going on where we have a table with engineers and uh, former military Navy guys. Uh, we got a table with a business owner, a control operator, a table of just engineers. We got a table with guys from renewable acquisition and customer service. There's a really good cross-section of Hawaiian Electric employees here from about six or seven uh, process areas around the company. We've been coming and doing this for the last five years with uh, the shelter, and um, it's been good. Aloha. They started preparing the emu two days ago, digging the hole, and last night we lighted the emu at about six o'clock. They put everything in at about 8.30, the kalua pig and the uh, Papa, he makes coconut bread in the emu, and um, and then I get up early in the morning at about uh, four o'clock, and I start on the chicken long rice and the hee luau, and uh, that's my part. <laughs> and the lomi lomi salmon, we stay up all night cutting the, the tomatoes because my mom always taught me don't cut the tomatoes too early because they'll get all mushy. So we do everything like just before, pretty much just before we're gonna serve it. All this food is just hot off the fire, um, hot off the cutting boards. You know, we don't do it for the recognition. We don't do it for, you know, people to tell us how good we are. We do it because we want to teach our kids. Um, my husband comes from fifth generation of doing hukilaos, and my family is um, fourth generation in this community. And um, my mother's grandfather actually was one of the forerunners that started the hukilao. And my mom encouraged us to keep it going for Memorial Day. We've been having this hooky love for over 20 years. This year makes the fifth year that we've been doing this service project. So we just want to say that we enjoy doing this. And we're so thankful for the opportunity that we have to serve. I got involved with this um, Memorial Day event actually several years ago. Um, John Luai and Bao Kawai put this thing together to give back to the community. Uh, this year I brought my um, my volleyball team out, who actually is a beneficiary of a lot of community service. Normally we're on the receiving end of a lot of co uh, community uh, giving. Today, we was able to come out and give back to the community in conjunction with ECO. And that's, I think, our kids really appreciate that opportunity. This is one of the things I most look forward to each and every year because it's a great opportunity to spend time and fellowship with not only our own employees but with some of the members of the community that we can give back to and others in the community who come alongside and, and reach out 
to uh, just do what we can to help build a stronger community for all of us.